What's up guys, this is White Butterfly Liz and I am on my way to get the Xbox One. It's November 22nd and the weather is not what you might call fine, but it is fine for gaming. You know what nobody's going to be able to say? Go outside, it's such a beautiful day, you shouldn't be inside playing your video games. So, here we go. And here we have the Best Buy. My new Xbox is sitting inside there. Just chilling. That's the one. That's the one. <laughs> Here we are on the way home. Well, there's a little bit of traffic on the way home. You know, it's sort of to be expected. Friday night, snow, a little bit of snow, and a little bit of construction work. Definitely doesn't mean a good night in terms of traffic. However, it's going to be a good day. What's that? Oh, no, no. Don't worry, sweetheart. We're almost home. It's not going to be long now. You doing okay over there? You cold? You want me to turn up the heat? Boo, traffic. There you go. You can have my scarf, just in case. everybody. We are home. We are safe and sound. However, due to some unfortunate, unforeseen technical difficulties, take one did not record properly. So some of the stuff inside the box you are not going to get to see all wrapped up in its nice pretty plastic. It's already been opened, but I tried to pack it back up as much as possible. Anyhow, here we go. Black box. What does that mean? We believe that it means this is the day one edition. Because it says on the side here, day one edition includes console, connect sensor, wireless controller, headset, HDMI cable, blah, 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 all this fun stuff. This is the back side of the box. It's a little bit bigger than a 360 box, definitely. And oh, hey, there's the only other indication on the outside of the box that it's a day one edition. You can see that right there on the controller. So, we're going to simulate breaking the seal on here, slicey slicey, and we're going to put the fun games and accessories off to the side. Ooh. Who wants to see inside? I know I do. Whoosh! <laughs> Ta-da! Alright, so the first thing that catches my eye here is going to be this beauty of a Kinect sensor right back here and the sort of bento box quality that we have here because if you lift this guy out of here right, put that aside get all the fun side stuff accessory stuff that goes with the Xbox One you have a quick setup guide and I dropped that thing once again a nice, fun, cool Xbox sticker might go on your fridge, your car, uh, window, right on the front of your Xbox One. Who knows? Get a product guide. Lots of fun. Goes off to the side there. Right here we have an accessories ad, and it has a QR code on the back, which I'm not going to turn over. And again, a nice, mysterious, black Xbox One card with a QR code on the back, which I'm not going to turn over. Unlucky you, but I imagine that that's the Day One Edition uh, special achievement download or whatever that they were talking about back in the day. Alright, so first accessory here is going to be our headset. Ooh, plastic goes off to the side. It's a nice wired headset. The uh, ear portion is a little harder than it looks, but um, shouldn't be too bad. I think I'll go with uh, some turtle beaches as soon as those come out. It twists around this fancy little uh, rectangular side thing right here. I was wondering if it was going to twist and make a joint right there. But the other thing of note, besides the 
sort of tape instead of a cable is that the switch controls are all right down there on the controller like back in the good old days instead of in the middle of the cords or you have to fumble around by your ears to find the mute button. Next up, ooh, what is this shiny? Feels like a controller. Ah yes, very nice. Day one edition controller. Definitely smaller thumb pads right here. A little bit taller. Feels like you're, uh, you're up a little bit. Clicking motion's nice. So found the bumpers to be a little snappier even than the original 360 controllers. And these buttons, I'm not sure if the buttons are bigger. I don't think they are. It's just that the uh, the letters are a little bit bigger, so they stand out a little bit more. Turn that around over the top. Ooh. All right. Also inside here, we have some batteries. Yeah. But we're not going to need those because... Joski73 informed me just today that you have this nice play and charge kit. So just like the 360, you can plug it into your console and not have to worry about replacing those alkaline double A's. Look into that in a second. There's our controller. I'll push this back just a smidge here. Next up, ooh, HDMI cable. No more of that composite nonsense that the 360 came with. It's going straight for the good stuff. High speed HDMI. All right. Next, who doesn't love power bricks? Huh? Huh? That's shiny. First glance, and actually on confirmation, I'm pretty sure it is actually smaller than the 360 power brick. And definitely shinier. Say it might weigh about the same. Not sure. Right off the top of my head. There's these guys. Push that off of there. This goes off to the side. Now, for the first part of the system itself. What I learned is you have to take that piece out back there because when you try and pull out the connect here, the power cord or connection cord rather, or both I suppose, comes out with it. It's got this nice little sticker on here that says don't stick your fingers on the lens. Yeah, that makes sense to me. And uh, I think you're just supposed to hold it from the side just like that is what that one means. So take that out. That's going to be a lot of fun. Camera. Neat camera. Ooh, there's even a screw on the bottom so you can mount it to a tripod, I suppose. Which is interesting possible uses, I think. I think we're going to put that off to here. There's our connect right there. Slide this tray out. And voila, here is the object du jour, the Xbox One. Now this thing is pretty tightly packed in, so what I'm going to do is flip it out like so and kind of shake it out of the box, hopefully. <laughs> nope, that's not working. Far off slowly but surely. There we go. There's our nice empty box right back there. And for the unveiling of the console itself. As you can see, here is our Xbox One. And this is the annoying sticker that I've seen in a whole bunch of other people's videos that's going to come right off real quick. It says, do not move console without first removing any disk inside. I've always been curious. And as you can see, there's already a little bit of dust on it. And uh, not to sound OCD, but this thing is going to be impossible to prevent from dust because that's how much dust I got on it just by opening it the first time. Give you a full 360. Here is the USB port, or USB port on the side instead of the front like it used to be. 
And then you got all your fun stuff in the back. Connect sensor, HDMIs, sound, more USB. Maybe that's another connect sensor. No, that's power. There you go. Gotta make a mistake in a video, right? You're unboxing, figure it out for a minute. That's the connect sensor, that's power. And uh, various other things that you should be able to recognize by now. There we go. And just like that, with a little bit of camera magic, everything has unpacked itself and reassembled. Now we're going to take a look at this uh, play and charge kit here. It uh, turns out it's a little bit smaller than I had first imagined when I saw a picture of it on the front of the box. I thought it was going to be a little bit fatter, but it's a little sleek, sleek little item. Pop that out there, just like so. And then underneath, we have a USB port. Looks like just a standard USB that doesn't want to come out of its packaging. There we go. Not sure if it's long enough to actually plug in while you're playing, but uh, let's hope for it, huh? Let's let's give it a shot. Looks like it could be about ten feet. Yeah, that's what I'm going for. <laughs> In fact, it might even be a little bit longer than the Xbox 360 Play and Charge Kit. Maybe not. Maybe it's about the same size, but there you go. So theoretically, as long as your couch is relatively close to your TV, you could plug it in and play while your controller's charging so there's no downtime. The way this goes in right here, you pop the back off, right where the other batteries would go. This goes in. Left side first. Pops down like that. And voila, your controller is ready to go. Lots of fun here. All right, everybody. This is uh, White Butterfly Liz signing off with the Xboxing on video. <laughs> All righty, everybody. This is White Butterfly Liz signing off with the Xbox One unboxing video. And uh, have a good night.